Today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to give you guys a step-by-step -step now to win 99.99% .99 of your games when playing zero builds. If you guys apply everything I talk about, I guarantee you guys will win more games and it is huge improvements in your gameplay. Right before we jump into the video, drop in the comments below, what's your guys' favorite series? Bruh. Mine is Fruity Pebbles because I think smack cut. No kid, man. All right, kid. All right, chat. Let's try to break 100 likes today's video. Enough yapping. Let's get right into the video. Boom. I'm going to go over this dual trio game, which I managed to win with a lot of eliminations. I'm gonna break down every fight, my movement, the guns I use, what heals I carry, the positioning, all of that chat. Starting off with the early game, I'm landing a lavish layer because, as you guys may know already, bro, Tony the Tiger spawns in with the mythic shotgun, and that's the best gun in the game right now. So my objective is to get the shotgun and push people off early game. You know what I'm saying? Get the you know ban it. Right off the bat, chat, I get a great shotgun and a grapple. That's perfect for all spawn aggressiveness. I hear Hear someone landing a little late i instantly push him because i know he got nothing much right when i push him i'm pushing through the door right here as you guys can tell and i slide cancel and look where he goes i break his neck take a couple shots on him and he just dies he has he couldn't do nothing because i just slipped past him broke his whole camera angle and everything i finished him with the pistol so i have shock and ammo i see some footsteps around me again so i'm really aware and then i hear someone jumping down on us so i immediately grab those clingers and i throw them out the door and i manage to knock one first thing i'm doing i'm pushing looking in both ways to make sure no one's gonna me from the back and i see the guy he shot me from the back and i see another team pushing in so then i reposition myself i hold this right hand peak right here so i see them and they don't see me and i can shoot whenever i want and uh, i see him pushing back in so i'm exactly what i'm gonna do i push back in oh, if i go through the window and i see him knock they knocked my teammate i'm still looking i look up get a couple shots making sure that he knows i'm aggressive and he, he doesn't want to mess with me and i'm getting back in my finishes to make, restart the fight make sure they don't revive no one and have to re-knock him again and i'm straight pushing over there because my team sees someone watch how i push this door right here i just don't run straight in i jump and i then it starts shooting, blasting my shotgun right here. I'm having a little standoff, and I just managed to knock him with my last shotgun bullet. And I throw up a bunker, that's key. Make sure you throw your bunkers, use your bunkers, don't be scared to use them, chat. Because this is, they're literally gonna save your life. So now I have the advantage. Right now, chat, I want you guys to heal up, start reloading all your guns and stuff, you know, so you guys can be ready for your next fight. And right here, chat, I hear some shots. So again, I instantly start pushing again because I want you guys to third pull a lot. That's how you guys win most of your fights. Notice how I'm swinging on the highest points of the grapple blade on the trees, all that stuff. You see, I notice how I got a little bit of a high ground. I got cover. Always want to get cover, chat. You don't get caught in the open. If you get caught in the open, you, you, where are you going to go? You can't go nowhere, right? He had his back turned all the way, so I lasered him right immediately. I start pushing him, and then I see the rest of his teammates. First thing I do is shoot the one that just oh, got wow, knocked, so he doesn't do too much damage to me. And then, boom, switch to the other guy, drop the goofy, and then, boom, reposition myself again. I go for a high ground. And a lot of these fights, I'm going to keep repositioning myself so I take the least damage possible, chat. I ended up taking my shield out and just finishing the fight. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. He couldn't stand a chance. And right away, after that, I see a sniper, grab it up. I hear more, a couple more shots. So what I do, I go on top of the roof so I can see him. He can't see me. I can peek whenever I want. I have the best angle. And I just take a couple of shots, bad cover. A couple shots, bad cover. A couple of shots, bad cover. And after that, I just finish the fight because... I mean, he can't really do much. He just, he's in the open. He's in the open. I take the finish. And so right away, I go to the vending machine to heal up. Because I know his teammates are nearby. So I got to do this fast. I bought myself some heals. Got myself a hot pot. I tried popping it. But I only oh popped God. like 10 HP for it. I didn't end up getting nothing. I hear his teammates. So I know That's like, oh, can't handle happen. that. I got no shield. I got nothing. I got no bunkers. I got none of that. I need to get the heck out of there. I look back to make sure if they're, they're looking at me. Going to push me fully. Nope, they're not. So what am I do? I'm end up going to the Ruby van. I start rebooting. Watch how I'm rebooting. I'm moving around. You know what I'm saying? Making sure they're not. No one's gonna stand you from the back or anything. Right when I reboot, I go on top of the roof, making sure no one's pushing. Remember, Jay. Make sure no one is pushing. Try to get some high ground. And right away after that, I end up pushing back. I see a turtle like just lacking, bro. Stop that boy lacking. And I start shooting them. He got lasered. He's scared. He's shivering his timbers right now. What I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna use what most players can do. I bounce pad chat. Use bounce pads more. Bounce pads are really good too. People don't use bounce pads like this, but use a bounce pad to fly over your bounce on them. You'll yeah, catch them off guard. And I caught him off guard. Got a couple shots off. Ended up killing him. And right here you can tell, chat. I'm already getting shot at. Getting third partied a lot. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get some cover. I'm gonna take a couple shots. Restart the fight. Remember. I started, restart, started shooting back. I uh, missed a couple shots, and then yep, I started getting shot from the other team, but I didn't notice. Watch out, watch out, watch out. And oh I guess sniped. I don't know how that sniper shot hit me. So what I'm gonna do? Restart the fight. Remember, restart the fight, chat. Always restart yeah, the fight. Exactly. I'm gonna get some heals. You know what I'm saying? I got plenty of time. I ended up coming back because I'm always coming back. I'm 
not stopping, chat. I'm never stopping. I'm taking, missing all my shots. Hit, managed to hit one of them, at least one of them. So what I'm gonna do here? Try to get my finish. Restart the fight again. Remember, take them down one by one, one by one. Chat, look at that. Moving on to the next clip, chat. Notice how I'm always on the bunker, staying relaxed. You know, I took a, took a sniper shot at that guy because that guy ended up finishing my teammate. Look how I push this dude. I go on top of the rock. Always try to get the high ground. The bad thing about this. Um, this little scenario and my shotgun was unloaded. Remember, chat, I you gotta always reload your shotguns. But realize how I took my SMG out and I slid back. I slid back on them. So, because if I stood still, if I stood still, they would have easily just took my shots. They would have easily just killed me. You know what I mean? I would have stood no chance. And I threw my bunker to get myself some reposition on myself. And after I reloaded all my guns, I'm pushing back and I take a couple shots. I don't know how that guy's still not dead. I pumped him for like so many damage, but yeah. And then I take my SMG out, start shooting them, and his teammate starts shooting me back. So what did I do? Reposition myself, take a cyber shot, boom, 300 in the head. Took his ass out. He's still no chance. And then I'm coming here back to, to look for his teammate, but his teammate just dipped. So I'm like, oh, what the heck? That's another team right there. So I took a random shot. Took fall damage on that by accident. But yeah, I ended up going back on high ground to reposition myself. Remember, now I have the good position. I shoot back. He runs off, off the hill. Right here, my plan is to get the med kits and get out. Because I hear someone else behind me. I know there's someone behind me. So right now, my best thing to do is just to run, get out of there. Remember, chat, reposition yourself. That is the best thing that you're going to take from this video. Reposition yourself. That's how I win most of my fights. I reposition myself. I have the sniper. Remember your loadout, chat. For the loadouts, I recommend to you guys use a shotgun, um, SMG, med kits, or a shield, any type of shield, sniper, you know. You see how I'm healing up? If I had just had a shield, I would have been done. Luckily, I have the Mandela effect, I played the Mandelians, so they're really good. And I easily take a sh snipe shots. I'm trying to take snipes here and there, Strat, so I take most of the shield off so they can't heal up as much. And I see one of them right there to my left. I see him moving in, so what I do, I don't think he saw me. I go on top of the roof. I have the best angle right here. Remember, Chad, this position right here. He don't see me. He sees it burnley. Boom, 300 snipe them, pushing that, because I know he has loot, Chad. So what I'm at, because I need loot. I still need loot. If he has bunkers, I'm winning the game, but he, he ended up having no bunkers. This is where you I don't want you guys to do this. I don't want you guys to run the open like that. That was bad positioning by me. I had no bunkers, so I don't know why I was doing that. And I was gonna pop a Medicare right there, but I seen him pushing and I had to run. This is the best thing. You just gotta run. I ended up getting lucky because he hit the zip line and went inside the little tunnel and that literally saved my life. Ended up popping a med kit. I have a hot part right there. Zone, I see zone moving in, so I gotta pop this med kit fast, 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 fast. And then that half part, I gotta pop the half part. Remember, reload your guns, chat. Reload your guns. You see how I reloaded my gun first instead of popping the shield? So I, sn I reloaded. And pop the shield and I see him I'm covering missed my first shot and that first thing I'm doing trying to go to zone but cover so I don't take too much zone damage and then boom I miss and I'm waiting I'm waiting waiting took a snipe headshot snipe and then I'm gonna take zone right here remember that chair I'm gonna take zone so he doesn't know where I'm gonna move in and now go go moving left trying to get myself re re reposition myself and I'm going on top of the hill I'm still looking I'm still trying to move because I'm still low he has the health advantage so I'm gonna just hold this little ledge you know Try to look for some heals, you know what I'm saying? The best thing to do here is try is just wait, pay patient, take some shots off, know that you're still aggressive, that you make them think that you're still healthy and ready to do. Right here, I'm just waiting, waiting. Remember, be patient, chat. Be patient. Reload all your guns. Make sure all your guns are reloaded. I'm waiting. Looking for some heals around me. Still don't see nothing. I'm still looking, still looking. I see some impulses and some pizza. So what I do, I'm gonna take my heels first because I'm already good on heels. I mean, I'm not good on heels. I'm good on guns and everything. So I'm gonna take these impulses. I'm still looking around where he's at. I don't see him. Mm. I see him on top of there. He's rotating in. So then I move in, move in. I see more pile of loot. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab that fizz. I'm gonna start popping it. Watch when I'm popping. I'm jumping around, still looking for him. I see him on top left. I'm still looking around though. I'm almost trying to get better angles. You know what I'm saying? Positioning. Right now he has the advantage. He has the high ground. He has everything. But I'm still, I'm still being aggressive. I'm just trying to pop my shield. He ended up sniping me. He has the half the advantage now. But I'm still popping my fizz. I'm going back down to go get those impulses because those impulses are key, chat. Remember, impulses are key. And I missed him. He think take. He ends up taking a couple shots. I'm still moving around. He ends up rotating. As soon as he rotates, I gotta rotate too, chat. If they're rotating, there's a one-on-one -one situation. You guys both gotta rotate. Notice how I'm still shooting. I'm sliding in, shooting, trying to get the cover right here. As of right now, the best thing to do is hide over this ledge. I still got impulses, so in my head, I got a little idea. And I throw the impulse right there in the bush because I see his little feet just tingling around. And I'm holding the tree because I think he's gonna push back, and he does. But I'm gonna have the high ground now. When I'm just, I'm, I'm in the best position, remember, height position, chat. 
take a couple shots he's running for his life and i take reposition myself a little bit have my sniper out boom end up sniping him and then taking him out and that's how you win chat remember chat if you guys are gonna take one thing from this video is reposition yourself have best positioning um yeah chat and that's gonna be it for today's video chat if you guys got any questions leave them in the comment section below and don't forget to like and subscribe chat for more content like this we out yeet.